Breaking news. Human rights groups ask President Muhammad Buhari to release Mazen Namde Kano. All political detainees across Nigeria. The coalition of civil society, workers, and human rights defenders has called the Nigerian government to release all political detainees across the country, including the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namde Kanu. The coalition demanded the unconditional release of all political detainees, including Namde Kanu, adding that the government should engage them constructively. The coalition, which started we stated this on Thursday during the unveiling of its Southeast headquarters in Enugu, urged President Muhammad Buhari's government to instead engage those detainees in constructive discussions instead of the use of arms. Addressing journalists shortly after conducting them around the office, the convener of the coalition and president International Solidarity for Peace and Human Rights Initiative Comrade Osom Ogun lamented the impunity with which the government and security agencies abuse human rights in Nigeria, especially in the Southeast region. Franked by the Secretary of the Coordination, Comrade Chukude, and other leaders, Ogun said human rights valuations have increased exponentially in Nigeria after the national protest against police brutality coordinated MSAS rather than decreased. The coalition, however, asked the Enugu state government to make public the report of the administrative panel of inquiring on MSAS as well as full implementation of the recommendation of the National Economic Council as regards NSAS protest, protest and mitigation of police brutality in Nigeria. We once again wish to use the opportunity to call on Governor Ifani Uwenya of Enugu State and his government to revisit the documents we presented to him in November 2021 on about Sixteen fundamental issues affecting the people, the workers, and retired public servants in the state. The issues of impunity in the system and acting on the reports of the representative of civil society in answers related judiciary panel on police brutality and other related extrajudiciary killings. You should make public reports of administrative panel on answers as well as full implementation of recommendation of National Economic Council as regards to NSAS protests and mitigation of peace brutality in Nigeria. We want the government to pay the seized salaries, allowances, and benefits of 14 former legislators of the State House of Assembly that were unjustly seized by the former governor of Enugu State during his reign because of their opposition to his unjust policies during his reign. Okay. We want the governor to stop the abuse of fundamental human rights of residents of Enugu State through the unjustified hardship imposed on the poor that do not have vehicles as a result of the ban on movement of keke, the commercial tricycles and commercial vehicles from 9 p.m. in the state's capital, among others. Regarding the 2023 general elections, the coalition urged Nigerians to not only obtain their permanent voters' card, PVC, but ensure they participate actively in the polls. We appreciate the interest being exhibited by the electorate this time in trying to get their PVCs and urge every person of voting age to ensure that he or she gets a PVC, ensure they vote during elections, resist monetary indictments and intimidation during elections. They should also make sure that they vote according to their conscience and stay behind to ensure that their votes are counted and results announced.
We also call on the Nigerians to rise up to the challenges of ending electoral man manipulations and maneuvering of executive elective offices by politicians and exclusion of credible persons from contesting an effective office through the high cost of expression of interest form. Okay. It is only a true Democrat that can hit to such cause. Let us have patience. You are holding now the Kano who has not done nothing but rebelled against your useless government, but freeing terrorists who have committed the worst of crimes. Mohammed Buhari, we give you handle. The call is commendable. The release of Namde Kano is long overdue. Buari cannot convict Kano. How can he prove that self-determination is a crime? Kano is innocent and innocent and Buari be shamed. No way we can't release Namde Kano to go any anywhere. He should repent and beg Nigerians for forgiveness. Human rights they sleep before waiting Namde Kano. Waiting be in the kind of crime for keeping him. All this why, when we have insecurity ravaging Nigeria, nothing is done. If the obedient human rights group really wants him out, they should be bold enough to go break into the jail to release him. After all, their northern counterparts did the same not more than a week ago to release their members from Kuje prison. The Igbo and Fulani game plan for 2023. Namdi Kano was never arrested by anybody. He surrendered to the Fulani government under the instruction of Igbo leaders, with the condition that Fulani Igbo relations should be restored in 2023. This has been done now. Article that he was asked by the Igbo leaders to surrender to avoid an Igbo republic as against the Biafran. They wanted is expected to support another Fulani for president in 2023. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.